Aside from the heavy focus on the online component and lack of a proper career mode like in the old days, one of the main points of criticism fans have about GT Sport is the reduced card count. Gran Turismo as a series has had its ups and downs when it comes to car count, with Gran Turismo 5 and 6 crossing the 1000 car mark that was only possible with the introduction of the controversial mix of premium and standard cars. Premium cars were built from the ground up, while standard cars were straight ports from the PS2 games, and the difference in quality when compared to the premium ones was comical at the very least. Gran Turismo Sport ditched this practice in favor of premium-only cars, launching with just a fraction of the total number of cars of the PS3 games, although post-launch content brought that number to twice as many cars. I personally don't care for high car counts, and I prefer when games launch with a smaller number of cars so that I have the chance to test them all out and learn how each handles. Of course, this is just me, and I know a lot of you who watch my videos disagree. However, Gran Turismo 7 might offer some good news for people who favor higher car counts. Cars in Gran Turismo games used to be created in-house. Gran Turismo Sport marks the first time Polyphony Digital outsourced the art creation process to third-party studios to help take the load off the developers so that they could focus on other aspects of the game. And as reported by GT Planet, the outsourced work seems to continue with Gran Turismo 7, with an India-based studio called Ismo doing some of the 3D modeling work. Thanks to outsourcing cars to a studio entirely dedicated to 3D modeling, cars are being built in just 3 months, which is essentially half the time it used to take the developers. It's pretty much guaranteed that most, if not all, the cars featured in Gran Turismo Sport are going to be ported over to Gran Turismo 7. And now, with a dedicated studio in the mix, we could be seeing even more cars added on top for the upcoming game, especially since some of the cars built by the Indian studio haven't been featured in Gran Turismo Sport yet, which might be an indication that they're saving those cars for Gran Turismo 7 instead. Expectations need to be managed though, don't expect anywhere near the car count of the PS3 games, it's just not realistic. Cars these days take a lot longer to build, which means it's physically impossible to match those ridiculously high numbers. What we could realistically be seeing though is a higher number of cars than what's currently available in Gran Turismo Sport, so that's great news regardless. That's all I have for this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you on the next one, bye.